This rip took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Made me tears. Hell yeah, bro. Preach it. Tears make the man. So the last night we streamed this, um, we, uh, we ended quite abruptly. My internet went down or the stream disconnected somehow or something happened. And we were in doing these squats. And uh, I'm afraid to say I uh, I done what uh, I needed to do at, uh, while I wasn't streaming at the very end. And it yielded this... Uh, where is it? It's not there. Clouds gear... There we are. It yielded this champion belt. Plus 10 HP and plus 5 strength. So a decent a decent piece of gear. And we bait your man in the squats. I think I've done 51 or something like that. Um, I just noticed there that my materia... I didn't have a full set of materia on there. We also done in the last stream uh, a couple extra battles in the arena and all of that. Presumably now we can come back here and go to the the arena regularly and do uh, different levels, different strengths of fights. So um, that'll be interesting to do down the lane. Um, look up. ATB boost. Let me see. Aerith has got the magnify material on her with cure. That's healing. Okay, we'll settle on that, I think. Then give me ten more. So, we'll depart the gym. We'll say bye-bye to our beefy friends. Now, it's come to my attention since I started doing these streams that... Uh, there are different uh, different routes you can take in terms of the storyline. I've... Uh, I've done things in a certain order, so it's a. Uh, it's given me different ways of completing this quest. I need to uh, head now up here to this section where presumably Aerith is getting getting a makeover. Going up this road. Now I hope I haven't missed anything. No! All right, what's this, Johnny Boy? At Cloud, finally, Tifa. She, 
I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... Yeah, get with the program, lad. We, know we've known do. about this for a while. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Beep, yeah, beep. bro. Whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Indeed. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. Another quick note around here. I think we've done this already. Yep, all chess got, I think. It's a very nice uh, mansion that Don Corneo owns. Pretty cool. I like it. These are hard men. Okay, a lot of junk around here I can't interact with. It's pretty linear. I'm starting to find out. You again? Got a letter of approval right here. Mm -hmm. You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Your man's cool enough. Go on, get out of here. Okay, so I don't, don't know what the point in that was. Uh, hold on now. Hey, get out of the way! Quit talking! Move it! Move it! Come on! Ah, so this is Aerith's makeover. Cloud falling in love the bite. Excuse 
Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what exactly? Here we go, lads. According He's gonna to get a uh, pair of tights and heels on. Of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Hmm. Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed tonight? Those two that won the tournament. Who the hell are they? She's certainly not dressed for this type of uh, terrain. Look at her. Come on, old man. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, now what am I going to have to do here? You can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? <laughs> it's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you want to save people? Right, I'm going to save it here. Because God knows what I'm going to be asked to do. I'm only after doing the squats, so... Time to go in and save Tifa. I don't know if it's because I'm getting old or what the story is, but I can't remember. If there was part like this in the original. Hey, are you nervous too? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Hi, Ludovic. No, this I've is uh, this, this is uh, PlayStation 4. Late, Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. This is the remake of uh, Final Fantasy VII, uh, iconic game for the PlayStation 1. Square Enix. They have gone into the mobile market with uh, Opera Omnia. Um, they, I think they they done a deal with a mobile developer for the IP of Final Fantasy 15, but it's nothing like a Final Fantasy game. It was more like a Star Trek Fleet Command game. Um, Watch the stinger, sweetie. <laughs> We'll we concentrate here for a second. Mm. <gasps> this circle? Uh, huh? Who's there? Uh, whatever. I'm having trouble seeing this thing. This would be What's some amazing answer? graphics now if it was on a phone.
Jeez, I'm supposed to guess what that is. I don't know. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's a right answer, baby. There you go. <laughs> you did it, boy. I'm so damn proud of you. Righto. But this won't be on mobile uh, mobile phone. Um, we were talking on Discord earlier about Final Fantasy XI, their online MMO. Uh, squaring some online MMO uh, possibility of that coming to mobile f uh, for its 20th anniversary. But it's, it, uh, it's a lot of speculation at the moment, to be honest. Hey there, doll face. This You've one's just PlayStation for 4. It's it, highly unlikely it'll be. No, I'm not here for... Well, who knows what they'll do, you know? I think you might have wandered into the wrong room by mistake. Shucks, you would have been a fun distraction. <laughs> you could stay a while, you know. Stage is through the door on the left, babe. Shucks, you would have been a fun distraction. No, we'll not go into them just yet. Oh, I've streamed games on PC, console, phone, you name it. I suppose I, I'm best known for mobile games because with a busy lifestyle and, and I suppose the generation that I'm in, uh, the certain sort of games that I play, I've become known a little bit maybe, you could say, for mobile games. But uh, with lockdown and all of that. <laughs> I'm able to find a bit more time to play some games that I'm gonna get I would have been playing anyway probably in my spare time to be able to stream them and for people to come and hang out and have a wee chat. I don't know what, what this guy is. I guess I'm just looking through keyholes here. I'm not sure there's any benefit to that, if it'll change any dialogue or anything like that. That's back outside. Alright. Hello, girls. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest. Head to the stage. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves practice first? Practice dance moves. Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be. Hey, right, lads, we're gonna have we dance here. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I'm never much of a fucking good dancer now. Okay, so there's a time thing along the lines of... Aww. Oh shit, right. No. <laughs> no. Ah, there we go. Right. Alright. But slow. Perfection. Wow. Working, honey. Okay, okay, we got that. Four bad. <laughs> Six. Either good or okay. Oh, you weren't 
awful. All right. Yes. <laughs> hey, let's try that once more. Take it away, honey. <laughs> there we go. Fabulous. Ah. There we go. Perfection. Work it, honey. Delicious. Okay, it was a bit better. <laughs> tricky enough. Trickier than I thought it would be. You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Right, enough of that. <laughs> my, my, is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you just sit so the Chocobo gays here. The uh, all the ones that were watching in the arena sponsoring the fighters are here. And this mysterious gay is obviously the person that wants to see me. It's quite impressive to look at. I'm looking at this on a big screen and it's... Very smooth all together. This guy's not camp as fuck. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. No, this is this is tougher. Oh, missed that one. Shit. Thank you, Aerith. This is actually pretty tricky. Ah, I missed that. Nah. 
Ah. All right. <laughs> Okay, I think I've done uh, reasonable there. Five bad. Ah, shit. Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin. Okay, this is the this is the moment where they turn Cloud into a girl. Calm down. He's impressive. This guy likes him anyway. Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of it. He went along with it all right for such a too cool for school character that doesn't like to be phased by anything. He went he went along with that rightly. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me. I can dance too. Okay, so we've got control of Aerith here. Alright, there's Cloud now. Was it planned from the start? Probably now not. that was just show. their look of surprise. Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Aerith to Cloud, come in. Aerith to Cloud, come in. That's not Aerith to Cloud. Be very civil at all. Please don't. Not a word. Such Not even one? No! Wouldn't you agree? But you're so pretty! Oh, I'm back in control of the cloud now. But one must behold such flowers for my fall. Looking good, love. Now, where do I have to go? I'm going the wrong way, I thought. Oh, what's this? Are you still with me, Aerith? The girl? Oh, 
Here's the case from the gym. Game running when I heard you were putting on a show. I didn't know you were such an amazing dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. But if you need to work up a sweat later, feel free to pop into the gym. Absolutely legendary. Game running when I heard you were I wouldn't recommend lifting in that outfit. Game running when I heard you right. wouldn't recommend lifting in that outfit. Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come for me? Whoa. Right, up to the mansion. Huh? You're planning on fighting in that getup? That's the arena, dude. Excuse me, miss, but are you sure you're in the right place? So one of them recognized me, one of them didn't. Let's see what these boys say. No way. Here you are. Letters yeah from way. Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Right, lads, that's it. We're getting in. Nice place. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going poking my nose in before I go anywhere. This. You can't afford a single thing in this place, so don't break shit. You can't afford a single thing in All this right. place, so don't break shit. Up the stairs it is. You can see the last door, did We've been waiting for you to show. Hey, hands to yourself. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. <sighs> Go to your room and wait. Quietly. Okay, not loud. Boys won't let me do anything. Here we go. What is this now? Thought we were here to see the big man. What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Dodgy boys. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? There's Tifa in her yes? Chun Li outfit. You okay? Mm hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? 
A lot of cutscenes in this bit. Hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud. Wait, why does it feel wrong getting Take Aerith involved in this year? You've only met her. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Okay, so Tifa's joined the party. We're gonna check her gear and setup and everything. What was that? You can wait, mister, because we need to sort out. Uh, Tifa? Okay. Uh, for starters. Strength by 10. What's she wearing? Yep, you're getting them. Now. Mithril armlet. Two materia slots. Magic defense up. No. Cloud's wearing that. Magic defense up by 19, and physical defense down by 1 as a possibility. Not bad. She has a leather bracer on. Star bracelet? No. No. Okay, let's go for the, the titanium. Not that I expect to be much magic here, but just don't know. Sonic stalkers. I forgot that I got these. Um. Four materia slots on it. Let's upgrade those for her. See what we can do. Ten SP for that. Oh, that's another new materia slot. Magic attack power, lightning damage, wind damage, buff duration, inflicted debuff duration. Hmm. It's all 10 SP. It's all 8 SP. Right, so it's... Oh, there's one for 6. Lightning damage. Ice damage. Fire damage. Alright, we were looking at this a minute ago. Um, okay, buff duration. Maybe that'll... Put regen, for example. 
might last a little bit longer on her. Let's say, uh, let's check the uh, materia. Cloud, Tifa, Aerith. Uh, let's check Aerith, right? So you've got Magnify and Healing. Synergy and Lightning. Barrier. Magic up, MP up, right. So Tifa. What can we put on you? What have you got already? Chak chakra? Okay. Deadly dodge? Okay. We'll put lightning on you as well, Mrs. Because we've got that uh, lightning on Aerith. It'll be assist. Smallly to be boost. Auto cure first strike. Uh, we'll put luck up on you. We'll put steel on you. Um, Poisona, maybe refocus. Who's that on some cloud already? Strike. We'll stick poison on her for the crack. Now let's give her a uh, summon. We'll give her Chocobo and Moogle. Who's Cloud got as a summon? He's got Fat Chocobo, which I'm going to change to Shiva. And I'm going to give Aerith Fat Chocobo. Okay. Let's then up. set up the now if there's going to be a fight. A bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Hey girls, search around if there's anything here we can steal. What? Where's the music coming out of? Let's do this. There we go. Run and loan the old funds. Nothing there that is new or exciting though. What's in this? Turbo Ether. We'll not say no. Now, where am I meant to go out here? It was a bit eerie. Much less now. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right! Y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Da Corneo. Ladies? Uh... Very nice. Uh, 
<laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. This boy's oh. a bit of a lech. Shall I pick you? <laughs> Made me think there was some you? something they got. If the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Oh, Cloud's hey, gonna give the game away. Which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? Jeez, he's winning and making a horse there. Dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah. we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. I think them boys got the better deal. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh. You're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Boys don't know what they're in for. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell? Get down. It's Get on, boys. It's on. <laughs> oh, you stupid. Oh. Oh. Go for it, Aerith. That's it, girl. Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> girl power. No, is this what you're going to be? Filled me in on the situation. Ah, it's cool. Come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Right, the girls are sorted. Gonna kick up the ass okay. here now. Let's Who's in charge? Right, so Aerith party later. A Molotov cocktail. Boys just waiting mate. Better hurry. We will. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What was down here? I'm 
downstairs first. I see you managed to get out, huh? Well, well. <laughs> Tepper, you show him. <laughs> and I haven't got a sass on either of these. Oh well. that and uh, Aerith on it as well when Tifa cast. The to do it. Right, there was something around here they wouldn't let me at. <coughs> Left me. I'm sorry about that. There we go. What's in here? A fury ring. battle with berserk status effect we'll, we'll see how that goes with you Tifa from what I remember in 7 berserk it just they just kept battering like a lunatic they, there was no giving them commands or anything like that And that's the room we were going to go in this one we weren't allowed in presumably at Corneo's this was the room they put us in at the start. Just double check, make sure there's nothing here. This was the room they gassed us in, I think. Come Corneo. What are you doing here? Can use abilities on it. What this? Huh? You'll pay. <sighs> Moving on then. You'll pay. All right. This is the room we woke up in then. I think there is anything down we'll check. Poor Cloud stuck in there with Corneo. God knows what's going on. We'll go in and rescue him. Come on, Tepa, catch up. 
<laughs> Don't stop. Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> Good man, Cloud. <laughs> hey, Bit more who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. Uh -huh. oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> now it's dawning on him. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Barrett? Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip him off. Hmm. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Of course it was. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. How's it going, Wesley? See, I'm We're just putting so sure a bit of manners in our pair of here. Keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We got to go. They would. Before you do. No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> when they've lost their minds. Oh, I'm sorry. Time's up. The answer lies in the sewers. <laughs> and that was in the original. Enjoy the sights and smells! This boy's overacting a wee bit, like Barrett and, and, and that, but it kind of suits him. Dirty old bastard, like, and it's kind of what you expected him to be, like, from the original, so. He fits that profile. Barrett overacts a little bit much for my liking. Alright, here's the big Are man. We on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Heartless Learn bastards. To live with it.
So there's the start of chapter 10, guys. Um, that's a short enough stream there tonight. We got chapter 9 finished. We got to see Cloud uh, cross-dressing. Um, we got the two girls in the party with us and their materia set up. There's presumably going to be a battle here now. Which I might have to complete before I end the stream. Depending on if I can save it or not. Damn it, Reeks. Okay, so I'm going to save it there, guys. Um, I want to thank anybody who turned out to join me. Um, we'll pick this up again hopefully tomorrow night. And until I get back to you, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I'll catch you all soon.